welcome to the Healing Word of the Week podcast with me, Marissa of Marissa Moments, where you might get triggered into seeing your own reflection, but it's to reconnect you to yourself and awaken the divinity within. So prepare for laughs, resonance, and accountability through true stories, channeled messages, prophetic words, and everything in between. So I hope you're ready because guess what? Here we go. Okay, so the word of the week is thieves. Thieves. I would spell it, but I don't want to mix up the I and the E. You know the whole thing. But anyway, thieves. So what God put on my heart to share with you is so many of us get so preoccupied with the notion of thieves or being robbed or something stolen, all of those types of things, right? Because society will instill that fear, right? Make you think, oh, no, don't put that out there. Somebody's going to take it. Porch pilots. We've Probably most of us have heard of them, the people who come and steal the packages before you can grab them off your own porch, right? Uh, Of course, that's a a first world problem, right? But um, the reason why God put it on my heart to share with you the notion of thieves, excuse me, is because so many of us are preventing ourselves from moving forward because we feel like somebody else is going to scoop us, right? Somebody else is going to take our idea, notion, whatever it might be. And I used to be one of those people, honestly, I'm just being real right now. Um, I used to be so afraid of talking about any of the notions or visions that God put on my heart because I felt like somebody was going to take it. And it was for good reason why I felt that way, because in the past, people have stolen my concepts and ideas and taken them as their own, right? And then I would shrink and get disappointed and be sad and sorrowful and all the things and, and think, well, I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to do that again. And you know, want to know what I did? I didn't do it again. So then I even started training people up around me. Don't tell people about what you're working on. Don't tell anybody about what, what's happening with us. Keep the uh, notions inside. It's very toxic, right? When, you, when I even say it out loud, I recognize clearly that it is not a good, healthy way of being where you have to live in a realm where you can't even speak your, your heart for fear of somebody snatching it away, Right. Now, that speaks more to the people that we surround ourselves with than it does about the the notion of actually putting things out there or putting ourselves out there. Now, I'm coming back to the point of thieves, right? Um, Here's the thing. I know I've mentioned the boutique several times, and I'm going to keep mentioning it because I'm so proud of it. I'm so happy with it, and I see its growth and um, uh, maturation. Is that how you say it? It's been maturing, (laughs) y'all. So... um, if I were not to speak the, the visions in my heart and in my mind to the world or to the public at large, then guess what? They would have never come to fruition. If I would have still been sitting within that, that seat of fear of t- telling anyone else or worrying about the cringe factor or, like I said, about the thieves taking my notion and concept, then this would have never come to fruition. Now, why am I telling you about this? Because let, let me tell you, <laughs> it's because... Maybe in your world, there's something that's on your heart right in this very moment. Maybe a business, maybe an idea, maybe a concept, maybe an outfit, right? Maybe it doesn't even have to be that serious. It doesn't even have to be that grandiose. We're not talking about building a a mansion from the the ground up, starting with uh, negative zero space, right? We're not talking about that. Or maybe we are. But for you, it does not have to be that deep. And it still matters. It still carries. It still strong and heavy weight in this world because whatever it is that's been put on your heart no matter how big or small perceptually it may be is needed it is important it is key to moving us ahead within this earthly realm right we're on this healing pattern we're on this healing ascension journey right and the only way that we can all collectively get there at least the people who are on this journey is by everyone doing their part right You know that saying, be the change you wish to see in the world? That's that whole drop in the ocean mentality. Sure, it may seem like a single rain drop, but once you start collecting all that rain together, then you got a bucket or a puddle or whatever it is, and then eventually you have a whole ocean. So we can't negate our responsibilities to this healing journey and to changing this world if we negate our responsibilities, right? We can't negate them because then that means our portion of this healing is not going to take place. And we are all key. We are all important. We are all chosen. We are all the proverbial one, however you want to put it, right? Now let's get back to the thieves. 
Don't think I, I forgot about them. You know, you'll hear the notion and come like a thief in the night. Sometimes people are so afraid of thieves that they won't even buy something nice for themselves. Well, if I get it, somebody's just going to take it. Can you imagine that life? Maybe it is your life, but can you think about it? <clears throat> Hello, somebody's trying to prevent me from speaking, and I'm going to speak anyway because that's what I do. Um, you know, when you live your life that way, very fear-based, then you're essentially writing your own universal algorithm to the world, God, Gaia, ancestors, angels, and saints saying, take my stuff. Please take my stuff. Now, I know it's, it's easier said than done, but such, such is life, right? Everything is much easier said than done. But what you have to do is start taking baby steps. And maybe not even a baby step, maybe just an inch, maybe a centimeter. Whatever <laughs> unit of measure is the smallest, take that first and you're still making progress. It doesn't have to be gargantuan, gigantuan, how do you say it? Leaps and bounds, right? We're not building a, a monument in a single minute. <laughs> Could you imagine if you uh, told you, if somebody told you, okay, you're going to build this monument and it's going to be expansive. It's going to be beautiful and glorious. And it's going to be, it's going to help so many people. And it's going to inspire them. And it's going to do all these things. But here's the caveat. Here's the catch. You got to build it in a minute. Could you imagine? Oh my God, you went from, Ooh, this is amazing to OMG. How am I going to do this? Like this is impossible, right? Well, when you tell yourself that thieves are going to take whatever it is that you put out there, then essentially you're telling yourself that you have that monument to build, but you only have a minute to build it. You're taking away all your hope, all your joy, all your, your potential, essentially. Understand this. Sure, maybe there, there are thieves out there. Not even maybe. There definitely are thieves out there. I'm not going to lie to you, right? Common sense is key. Discernment is key. We can't walk around on the street waving around money and think somebody's not going to snatch it, right? We got to use our common sense, people, because we are still on this earthly planet and not everyone's on a healing journey along with us. However, when it comes to that business plan, when it comes to the notion of going back to school, when it comes to the idea of starting your own business or um, homeschooling your kids or starting to paint or just walking to the store, right? Whatever it is for you, you'll know, take, take it how it resonates. But when it comes to that, if you, if you never speak it out there, if you never take that centimeter step towards the, that goal that's been put on your heart, then you're never going to reach your fullest potential. And if you don't want to reach your full potential, if you're comfy, cozy, where you're at right now, then this message isn't for you, clearly. But if you know that there is more in you, then that's who this message is for, right? I, I want you to awaken to your truest potential, to your highest self. And the, we don't awaken to our highest selves and we don't awaken to our fullest potential by being afraid of who's going to take away what we got. Because at the end of the day, you're the only you that exists on this planet. I don't care if you have an identical twin, triplet, whatever. Even if you have the same DNA, the exact same DNA, you are still not the same individual. Because if you were meant to be the same individual, then God would have only made one, right? <laughs> Thieves are not coming to take your concepts. Thieves are not coming to take your business plan. And even in the situation and circumstance that they do, it will never be as amazing as you would do to create it because they didn't have the concept in the first place. They didn't have the notion. They weren't the one designed and, and created with the purpose of fulfilling that destiny. Sure, it might be awesome, but imagine what you would do with it. The, the originator, the creator. Just think about God. What has God done? All this creation, all these miracles. Sure, we can uh, sink over to the dark side and think, well, but what does he also allow? But it's all about your mindset too. If we focus on, in on the darkness, then that's all we're going to see. But once we start shifting our mindset and our vision to the light, then that's what we're going to see as well. Again, we always carry our common sense and discernment everywhere we go, right? Like it's, it's, it's our skin, right? Our flesh. I don't know about you, but I can't leave my meat suit anywhere. I just can't get up in the morning as a spirit like, ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, ha, and then start floating down the street. That would be really cool, but I haven't mastered that quite yet. I haven't even started the process. Maybe I should. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm saying all that to say this. Get started. People often ask me, how did I start my business? 
What did I do in order to uh, start driving after I had allowed anxiety to keep me captured for about five years? How did I move ahead when I almost died after having my twins? How did I get over the, the major dark dooming depression that made me want to and attempt to create my own expiration sooner than later? How did I do it? Faith. And I swooshed it. You know what that means? I nike it or I just did it. Fear is going to come along anyway. Anxiety is going to come along anyway. So why not get things done? Why not step into your, your manifestations, your visions, and your goals? If the fear is going to be there anyway. And then eventually, as you continue walking down that path and journey that was set for only you, that fear is going to start dissipating. And then you're going to look back behind you down the road where you started and you're going to think, man, I can't believe I was scared to talk to that person. Man, I can't believe I was scared to, to create that website. Man, I can't believe I was scared to start taking classes. You're going to blow your own mind. Trust me when I say this because it is based on a true story. Remember when I tell you every single message that I deliver and convey to you Although it may be channeled, it's based off of a true story and a real aspect of my life that I have personally lived. Sure, I've lived a lot of different lives within this one singular existence. I've been through a lot of struggles. I've also been through a lot of triumphs. And that's why I can be here and share these messages with you so, so confidently. Because I know that there is light at the end of that tunnel. But anyway... That's enough for now. I've already talked for about 12 minutes at this point, and I'm hoping that you pick it, you are picking up what I'm putting down because this message is in fact for you. Remember, take it how it resonates. Apply it to that aspect of your life where you feel that spark of joy, where you feel that hope, maybe even where you feel, feel that fear because it's so big. That means you got to get started. Get out of your own way. Stop waiting for the thieves to come steal something that you even refuse to buy because you don't, you don't feel like you, you deserve it, right? Stop waiting for the other shoe to drop because when you wait for the other shoe to drop, you're going to start looking for that shoe to drop just so you can be like, aha, <laughs> where's this spoon? Anyway, come into a miracle ref reference, but that's it for now. So I hope you are having the best week ever. I always look forward to sharing these messages with you because I hope that you are inspired. I hope that you and I hope and pray that you are using these messages as a step stool to get to a higher place and plane to dive into your ascension with both feet without any fear or trepidation. Or even if you do have that fear and trepidation, you're doing it anyway, because now you're allowing your faith to override your fear. That is where we're at and that is where we're going. Anyone else that is existing in a different type of a vibration, let them be. Let them be. Focus on you, focus on your ascension, focus on your healing, and that's all you can do. Everyone is a single drop in the ocean and we are creating something huge. So that's it for now. Check me out on all of social media. Just remember, when you look me up, it is Marissa Moments. And that is Marissa with one S because why? There is only one me. So until next time, I hope you have the best week ever again. Happiest of healings, apples and tomatoes and all the things. And uh, bye.